All right, so we have four videos left. So let's all hold hands across America, close our eyes, and here it is, the number four maze for Halloween Horror Nights 2019 at Universal Studios Hollywood. Here we go, Holidays in Hell. The music by figure, I'm gonna forget to talk about this later, but the music by figure is fantastic. I love it. And I love the postcards throughout this maze. We have New Year's Eve, the nursery, baby New Year, brilliant. Father time, awesome. Like, this maze was so cool. It was so good. I love original concept mazes. Now we're in Valentine's Day. Good scare by Cupid. Super dark in that spot. There's also a little door. Somewhere here where another Cupid pops out. St. Patrick's Day was my favorite theme or my favorite holiday represented in this maze. Every maze that has been in this location, why is this always a black hallway? Is it fire code? Is it fire regulation? Somebody explain to me. Oh, this build up to the leprechaun's house. Jamming to the music. Easter was a great scene if they didn't blast you with water. Easter Bunny is awesome. What, what does Easter have and water have to do with each other? So holy water? I don't know. Love 4th of July. I felt like 4th of July and St. Patrick's Day were a little too long. Ooh, Halloween 2 segment. All those pumpkin heads. Reminds me all of Halloween 2 when it was in Jurassic Park. Great scares. Then I wish Dia de los Muertos was in this. I think that would have been represented beautifully with UV lights. This little human chicken or ch chicken turkey you're gonna hear me rant after this maze flow through that was my favorite part of the thanksgiving room and people have to ruin it tree shopping it's brilliant i wouldn't even have thought of that i would have thought of like north pole so to begin, I love original concept mazes. Even though this was a scare zone last year, it was still an original maze. Um, my favorite scene is the St. Patrick's Day uh, scene, or the St. Patrick's Day section. When you're walking up to the leprechaun's house, it's just fantastic. Um, why every, every year, 
when you're walking through the maze, there's just a portion of Black Hallway, and it's the same spot every single year, and I know it's because of the archway, but is there a reason why it's always just the Black Hallway? Could somebody explain it to me? Is it a fire issue, a uh, fire code issue? Like, I, I honestly just want to know. Um, another favorite part of my of, of this maze for me was the human turkey that was on the table. And because a lot of people complain about it, they have to ruin it for everybody else. And it got taken away later on in the run, I think two weeks in, and replaced with just body parts on, on a plate on the table. If you do not like things like that inside of mazes, do not go because you are ruining it for the other people that enjoy seeing these types of things. Like, it didn't hurt you. It was a human being in the form of a turkey with his knees up with the little, I don't know, the little white things on the leg. This is Horror Nights. It's a mature event. Stop complaining about little things. If you complain about it, do not go. Or if you think about complaining about it, do not go. No one's forcing you to these events. You know it's a mature audience event. So why are you complaining about these things that you know you're going to see? That's like going to Grinchmas and complaining about seeing Christmas things around the park. Knock it off. So, besides that, I love that uh, human being on the table for Thanksgiving. And I'm sorry for getting upset about that. But it just gets on my nerves when people complain about things at a mature audience event. So, yeah. And then I'm not going to count the scare zone at the end of the maze. Because if I count the scare zone at the end of the maze, then... I will have to count the scare zone from here on out for every maze that is in that location or for every maze that exits exits out into a scare zone. So yeah. Oh, Easter got me drenched. I do not know why. I don't know why we get so wet in these mazes. Especially Easter, that has nothing to do with water. I guess since it's Easter and religious practices, it's holy water. But that's that's a stretch. That's a stretch. So, yeah. Holidays in Hell is my number four. And I will see you Monday for my number three. I was going to say my top three, but they will be separate videos. So, Monday is my number three video, and I will see you guys next time.